Algebra 1, 12.1c, Operations with Functions. We can perform arithmetic operations on functions. If the function of x is 3x and the function g of x is 2x plus 1, we can find f of x plus g of x. We can even do f of x times g of x. So for the addition one, if this is what they equal, and we add them, we have 3x plus 2x plus 1. And just regroup with the associative property and put the coefficients with x together, we get 5x plus 1. If we want to multiply them, we use the distributive property, and we get 6x squared plus 3x. See? Isn't that easy? Just plug in the numbers. So if we have f of x is 5x and g of x is 1 over x and the function h of x is 2 divided by x minus 3. We can just plug these in to find these. So if we're going to do subtraction for these two, then we're going to have 5x minus 1 over x. See? All we have to do is multiply both of the terms by x we get 5x squared minus 1 over x. We divide it by x, see? And if you're confused about this, try plugging in some real numbers. Try plugging in a 2 where the x is, copy this all down, and then plug in a 2 where the x is, and you're going to see that it works out. It works out as 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20, so you'd have 20 over here, and it would be divided by 2. See? It'll end up working out. So if you're really confused, just plug in some small real numbers and watch how it works, okay? If we want to multiply them, we do 5x times 1 over x. We just multiply the numerator and denominator. We can put this one over 1, can't we? And we end up with 5x over x, and these cancel out as a 1 identity property, right? And we end up with just 5, you know, as long as the x isn't a 0 because we can't divide by 0, can we? If we have this one, and we're going to add them, add these two together, then we have 1 over x plus 2 over x minus 3. See? We can multiply both terms by x minus 3, and we get 1 times x minus 3 over x plus 2 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. And we can just add them. 1 and the 2 makes a 3, x minus 3. And this makes x times x minus 3. And this x minus 3 over this x minus 3 doesn't cancel out, because if we did this distributive property, we get x squared, wouldn't we, when we simplify it? If it was like a 3x minus 3 over a 1x minus 3 or a 2x minus 3 or something like that, we could cancel them out, and then we'd have this as a fraction, wouldn't we? For division, it would be the same thing as if it was written as a fraction, right? Because they're just little division problems. So we'd have 1 over x divided by 2 over x minus 3. We can just flip this guy around, see, as the reciprocal, and just multiply straight across like we would with regular fractions we'd end up with x minus 3 over 2x. Wasn't that easy? These are so easy. You can do this. All right, our next video, 12.1d, we're going to do some function word problems to help you out. We'll do a couple of those, okay? And if you want to go to the previous videos of identifying functions or function notation, those links are in this description. You can just click on them if you need extra help or if you missed them or if you want to review. And there's going to be a link to my grade 8 math playlist, because if you scroll down to chapter 6 to video 6.1a and all the six videos in that series for chapter 6, it's all about functions. And it might be a different way of looking at it. I might, might have explained it a little differently, okay? The difference between grade 8 math's playlist with functions and this Algebra 1 playlist with functions is in Algebra 1, I go a little bit more into detail, and we touch on Algebra 2 a little bit more, okay? So it's a little bit deeper and higher level, okay? Even though it may explain some of the same things, all right? So let's try doing a couple word problems and see if that helps you before we move on to the next unit, all right? Bye.